hey, if you guys want to participate in my community events, I host them in the official Miner's Haven Discord server. I'll link it in the description. Timestamps are available in the description in case there's anything specific you'd like to see. But we're going to start with how to AFK farm RP, and then I'm going to make three setups. One for beginners, one for mid to late game players, and then one for end game players. All right. So if you guys are looking to AFK farm RP, I personally use this auto clicker. You do need an auto clicker. You cannot macro. Macros are bannable in this game, but you could use an auto clicker. So I use auto clicker by Shocker, and uh, you can just look it up if you're interested in it. Uh, maybe I'll post the link in the description if I find a safe one. But essentially, you want to set your auto clicker to go off once every minute. You want it to be really slow. You don't want to click really fast because I tend to notice that after hours and hours and hours of doing that nonstop, you tend to just get kicked for a network error. Uh, it's been a consistent thing across multiple people that I know too, so uh, you have it be really slow. What you do is you find any button uh, in the GUI that you find what you do is you find any button in the UI to click on. So I'm going to use the settings button right here and I'm going to turn on my auto clicker and hands free is going to click. I'm doing it once every second for the sake of showing it in the video, but it really does go off about once a minute. And just like that, you will not get kicked. You leave this running while you're RP farming overnight and that way you also won't get banned or anything. All right. Now for the first setup, you're going to need a bunch of silver mines. We're going to place them in a little weird spot like this. We're going to do this, 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 and this. Then you are going to take a basic research center. And you're going to put another basic research center. After getting this down, you are just going to go and copy-paste this a bunch just like this. It's a little bit more tedious to make on Xbox, but it is an incredibly easy to uh, get RP farm. You usually do like three or four rows of this, um, but just for the sake of time and for the video, I'm going to keep this one just one row. This works incredibly well. Like, I, I can't really joke about it. It's really good. This is how uh, most speedrunners for Life 1 stuff manage to get enough RP for everything in the shop in about 10 minutes from starting. All right, second off, we're gonna get a hydraulic platform. We're gonna place it just like that. We're going to put a nuclear stronghold, as well as a hydraulic receiver. Now we're gonna take one hydraulic sender and we're gonna get four Tamiya mines. Alright, now that we've made this little uh, thing over here, we're just going to copy-paste that. And boom, there you go. This is a lot better for the more mid to late game range players uh it's not super heavy on the amount of like items you need or anything it's just something that you could probably make using what you already have if you don't have all the atomium uh if you don't have all the atomium mines for this you could even use replacements like newtonium or breach loaders or all sorts of items this is this is pretty effective uh in something i've even used in the past myself now, if you're wondering how I made about 50 million RP in the span of just a couple days, uh, two days to be exact, uh, which was, I think, just two, it was either two or three AFK sessions of RP. I don't remember how many hours or anything. It is really easy to make. It does, it is pretty intensive on uh, just how many platforms you're going to need, but really you could take it from here however you want. Uh, but we're going to need standards, and we're going to need these. So to start, we're going to place a palladium drill, just like this. Then we're going to take a platform. I'm going to put it right about here. We're going to raise it up as high as we think we can. I think that's a little too high. 
Then we're going to take an industrial scarab. And just like that, that's all you need to do. In, in itself, that's that's all you need to do. It's incredibly easy to make. And most people just make a couple of rows of these. If you would like to take it more serious and do what I do, you can put a standard platform above it with another scarab. And another platform above that. I think this actually needs to be raised a little bit. So we're going to do that. We're going to raise that by one. There we go. Okay. We're going to do that. And then just like that, we have two more. You could even use hydraulics if you need to, if you run out of standard platforms. Um, but if you'd like to know what the end result looks like, it's kind of chaotic. But this right here, this is the most optimal RP farm I've ever made or seen. Thanks to my friend Joe for helping me get this all sorted out. Like and subscribe uh, helps out a bunch, really. We've been growing like crazy in these past couple weeks, actually. Just a lot of passive growth. So uh, I'd love to see that continue. But thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Peace.